we will be doing Microsoft Sudoku Master Difficulty, but I will be using pencil marks. Now, as I say that, I did spot a hidden single on two, so I'll go ahead and mark it. It is the two in row one, row two, and column seven that allow us to mark two here. But the, uh, the type of pencil marking I will be using is restricted cell notation. So let's say box, it, Snyder's notation would have you marking when a number can be in one box and only two splits. For example, this uh, one can only be in box five in these two spots. And that is useful because that is a pointing set. However, I like using restricted cell notation, which tells you the number, the possibilities within each cell. So within box five, there is one, two, five, six, and nine. So this is two, six, and nine. This is five and six. One, two, five, and nine. One, five, and nine, and one, two, and nine. And what that does is helps you to see pairs, quad, uh, triples, quads, and even advanced techniques like Y wings. If you're really good at spotting, you can spot X wings and swordfish within it as well. The only things that Snyder's notation really allows you to do is spot pointing sets and basic X-wings, which with a little bit of practice, you should you can be able to spot those without any pencil marks whatsoever. It's a little bit tricky, but try it. You can do it. And there was a six, hidden, hidden six. And... I do not see any other hidden, so I will go back to uh, restricted cell notation. So one, two, five, seven. I'm missing a number. One, two, three, five, seven. One, two, three, and seven. One, two, and five. Two, three, five, seven. And one, three, and one. Oh, that's just a naked one. Cool. And two, three, so it's just a five, seven. All right, got a five, seven and a two, five. So that's two thirds of a Y wing, but I don't think I will be able to get a Y wing out of it. We'll see. All right, row three has one, four, seven, and nine. So four, seven, and nine. One, four, and nine. So one, four. One, and four. And one, four, seven, nine. Okay, so no pair or triple quite yet. So we move on. Um, where's the next best place? The places I like to look for restricted cell notation is places with four or fewer because they definitely only have four possibility restricted cells. But I will move up to five if I don't have any other options. Um, this is one three, six, and seven. One, three, six, seven. One, and six. All four. No, one, three, and seven. And three, seven. Um, still no triples or pairs. Oh, a one, five, nine. 159 triple right here. So this cell cannot be a 1. The 159 triple was in column 5, if you did not spot that. And that creates a 3 7 pair in row 9. So 
there cannot be any more threes or sevens in row nine. And that creates the one six pair. And that is the, uh, that is what restricted cell notation does for you. It allows you to easily spot things like that. So there is three, three and seven, and there's one other number, so it's an eight. So this is a three eight and a three seven eight. Which is a triple, but it's all within the same column with another triple, so no eliminations at the moment. Row two is three, eight, and nine, and also four. So four, eight, nine, three, and four, and three, four, nine. So do we have a one, three? I don't see one. The reason I say that is there's a three, four, and a one, four. When you see two options of a triple, I look for the third and not necessarily in the same box. Because if you see the third option within another box, you might have a Y wing. All right, let's do, let's finish the box. This is a one, three, four, eight, nine. So one, four, eight, nine. And uh, please bear with me. It is very difficult for me to talk and explain my logic, and it will explain the logic and also solve the puzzle at the same time. I am very inexperienced at this, so please bear with me. All right. Box one is four, five, seven, eight, nine. So four. Seven and eight, and that is all five, so I'll leave a blank for now. Let's see. So one is here and here, but that doesn't help at the moment. Now, well, since I'm a bit stuck. We will go to the AI generated picture, and I think you're going to like this one. The prompt I gave it was a bear wearing a top hat in a windstorm, and I think it came out with a really cute picture. And I use a copilot, which is the Windows AI. So enjoy that picture while I search. Yeah. Now I still don't see anything, so let's see if I can mark any other restricted cells. Got one, three, four, seven, nine. So three, four, seven, nine. Oh, that is a naked single. So this is a nine. One, three, four, seven, nine. And that creates a 4-3 pair. So that means this is an 8. And because this is a 4-3 pair, that is a 9. Alright. A 1-4-9 triple in box 2. So this is a 3. And the 4 for the full house. Anything else? So I can finish box three now. So one, three, one, three, seven, nine. And one, three, seven, one, three, seven, nine. And then the one, three, seven for this column. Column eight. Dangerously close to a triple, and that 
in column nine, but I doubt I'll be able to get it. So there's only three three numbers, so I'm not even going to try. Um, column two is one four six seven eight. So one six eight four six seven eight one four seven anything else one four six seven not at the moment and row five is one two five six eight that's all five two eight one two five six yep two five oh cool that is a naked pair one two five so it means this is an eight and this is a one six and that means this cannot be one and that means this is a naked pair as well so that's pretty cool um, let's see anything I can do with that at the moment I guess I could try for column three but that means column three only has three numbers even with the naked pair so I think I'll leave it be for now any hidden singles while well, I'm at it I haven't looked for hidden singles in a bit um, don't see no don't see any on twos threes no fours no fives yes and that gives us a six I'm going to double check that this is a one four six one four six correct I have been making um, vision errors recently basically or pencil marking wrong or not seeing a number so I'm trying to double check pencil marks before marking single numbers like that but yeah the only real way to avoid that is to just be extra careful before making pencil marks um, 4578 in this one One four six eight in this box, and that is one four and six. This is an eight. Can I solve for eight? Not at the moment. Mm. This puzzle looks like it's going to collapse soon. I just don't know what's going to be the straw. Um, sixes. No. Sevens. No. Eights. Not at the moment. Nines. Okay, so I'm missing something restricted unless I did the hidden singles incorrectly. Or didn't spot something, rather. Um, two, seven. So now I'm looking for y wings like bent triples so i'm looking the a five seven four seven i'm looking for a four five somewhere i don't see it 
four seven one four. I'm looking for a one seven. That sort of thing. But nothing stands out at the moment. So I will continue looking. Hmm. Any more restricted cells I can do in the meantime? I can do box six. So two, three, four, five, seven. Two, three, four, seven. Two, three, four, seven. And that's all five. Okay. And this is one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, okay, three, four, seven. That is another way to use restricted cell notation is to do it like a naked single. It just to pick a cell that looks like it has a lot of numbers um, that which see it. Um, let's see if I can get another good example. So this one. So it can't be one, but it can be two. Can be three, can be four, can be five, can be six. Unfortunately, this is a quint, but doing that when um, there are fewer options is very useful. I guess I will do, I will use this one six. I guess the puzzle wants me to use this one six, so I will use this one six. Um, this can be a two, four, five, seven eight um, let me make sure two four five seven eight there's one more number two three four five seven eight um two three four and seven three four seven two three Four, five, seven. It's two, three, seven. No, oh, that makes a two, three, seven triple, which means this cannot be a three or seven. So that was quite useful. So this is a four. And let me make sure this is. A, oh yes, this is a one. Go ahead and continue with a four. And a seven. And hopefully that will break the puzzle. We shall see. It might still stand. Yeah, it looks like it's still going to stand. Maybe on its last leg. Oh, I missed one. Maybe not. We will see after the dust settles. Now I'm doing this because I trust my pencil marks. But once again, be very careful with this because I have I have gotten multiple errors by mismarking something early on in the round and it biting me in this stage. But I am just following the pencil marks at the moment. Alright, now we're left with a few numbers. We've gotten six, seven, nine remaining in this box. Oh, and that's just a full house. So six. And then I'll go ahead and mark the seven nine last pair. And this is a two full house. Kinda. It's a last pair, but I guess it's a technically a naked two. Four, three. And four, seven, eight, yes. Hopefully that broke it. It's so close. Uh, naked two. 
and this is five nine plus nine, so you got five nine. All right, that that looks pretty done. So hopefully that will be a wrap. Nine and four, all done. That's a pretty good puzzle. Hopefully you got the gist of how uh, the difference between Snyder's notation and restricted cell notation and how to better use it. Hope you have a great day. Bye.